Okay, can a password manager truly protect you from ID and financial theft? It's actually a lot to ask of a provider, so you're going to need to put a lot of faith into their service. Alright, so who do you choose for said service? Well, in today's Keeper review and tutorial, I'm going to run through all its pros and cons and finally answer whether it offers enough protection. Well, let's jump in and start with Keeper's security features. Now, most password managers will let you have one master password to access all your passwords. And Keeper's security is similar with multi-layered encryption, which is an industry standard and done locally on your device. However, a more notable addition here is their self-destruct feature. This actually lets you erase all locally stored passwords in one swoop. It's also got two-factor authentication, 2FA, which is pretty much essential nowadays. And Keeper is unique because it has security systems that are independently audited. Now to me, this is proof that Keeper is living up to their word on their zero knowledge promises when it comes to security and architecture found inside it. Of course, Keeper has a password generator, that's password 101, but I really appreciate their security audit feature. I was able to have all my passwords imported into Keeper easily enough and then have their strength quickly evaluated. All my passwords got a percentage score and some were, uh, well, better than others. Oh, and speaking of notable additions, well, it's got a data breach checker, deleted password recovery, a safe messaging app, and more. Keeper incorporates their password manager and digital vault to keep my existing passwords up to speed. Now, it's plain to see that Keeper is feature heavy, but sadly and somewhat expectedly, certain add-ons do come at an extra cost so you may want to consider what you really and truly need. Now, while features are just one part of this puzzle, what about the price? Well, Keeper has no free password manager. Boo, come on guys. But I can say that they have affordable plans and the price is fair in my opinion. Yay! A Keeper premium plan for one is the cheapest option and it's around $2 a month at the moment. And the student plan is not that far off from there, at just under $3 a month. Then there's the Keeper family plan for up to five people, which really isn't that much more per month. Each plan has so many features and top of the line security that it's just simply worth the money. But for the most updated deals, well, check out the description because I always put those down there. Okay, little drum roll please. And here comes the Keeper password tutorial. Now, as you all know, it's awesome if a password manager can promise you the world, but it needs to be easy to navigate so you can actually use all those great extra features. Okay, so here's Keeper. Nice interface, right? It's clean and to the point. Okay, let me show you how I added my passwords. I was able to import mine to the Keeper vault here through settings by just hitting import. You can move the passwords you've got saved on browser straight to Keeper. This works on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, Opera. <laughs> Look at that, it even works if you use IE. I mean, really, does anyone even use IE, Internet Explorer anymore, seriously? Uh, well, I don't know, but if you do, you're in safe hands. Uh, well, not really. Internet Explorer is known for its uh, security concerns, isn't it? Anyway, Keeper is not just a password manager. I saved all my card info here under Identity and Payments. All right, so what other info does Keeper let me store? Well, Keeper has this separate messaging app, Keeper Chat. It's really well integrated with Keeper's password manager and digital vault. So not only does Keeper do passwords, but it also has an add-on for sharing messages and media with much more control and security than other messaging apps like Messenger. This is something that no other password manager on the market even has currently. All right, let's say I need to share a password with someone. Well, I just go to that password in my vault click options, and then from that dropdown, I hit sharing. But the person that I sent this to needs to have a Keeper account of their own as well, just FYI. Okay, here's where I can generate some passwords. In my vault, a brand new impossibly long password is made just for me. I hit the dice icon and ta-da, password generated. Ooh, look at that one. Now, as you guys can see, Keeper is straightforward. The dashboard and menus are all clear and organized. I even have my passwords organized here in my vault, so I know where to go for my banking passwords or maybe my social media ones. To be honest, I have way too many passwords to not take advantage of this. Now, if you prefer to have your password manager on a mobile app, well, Keeper has that option. Here's what the Keeper password manager looks like on my iPhone. 
It's simple with a spacious design. There's also a Keeper Android app, so it's pretty accessible. Though I noticed the mobile apps do look a little different compared to the desktop, but the functionalities are similar, so at least you won't feel lost if you access your vault on different devices. Now, if Keeper is looking like a good option for you at this point, then do not forget the Cyber News Keeper deal down in the description. Savings are abound. Okay, so is Keeper the best password manager? Well, Keeper Password Manager is a great and secure place for your passwords. They have plans that suit individuals, families, even businesses, and their watertight security will not let you down. It has an awesome reputation, and if you're looking to invest, it's a strong contender for sure. In short, it's one of the best password managers for 2022. It's even got one of the most secure premium vaults I've ever had the pleasure of trying. Sure, it's a shame there's no forever free version for users that can't really afford it, but features like password evaluation, data breach checker, a secure messaging app, password autofill, insane encryption, and loads more, well, they all make up for that. I should also mention that there is a 30-day free trial without even having to enter any credit card info, but no money-back guarantee. So is Keeper worth it? Yes. Look at all those features. It's easy to navigate. It's got top security at a fair price. Yes, yes, yes. Keeper password support is pretty good too. So it's a good option for you more novice users and you advanced users aren't gonna feel too many limitations. Now, I wanna know what password manager features are totally must haves for all of you. Now, did you enjoy this little Keeper review? If you did or didn't, comment below. Hit like and subscribe to get all the latest from Cyber News. Hey, thanks for joining my little Keeper Password Manager review, and I'll see you next time.